Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor Keith here with Word of Faith Christian Center, bringing to you a prophetic uh, insight, prophetic nugget here today. Um, looking forward to uh, just sharing a few things with you this morning. In fact, I, I truly believe that we are in a prophetic shift. Um, and simply with that, a prophetic shift doesn't always bring about change the way that we think it's going to bring change. A prophetic shift really is all about our positioning. Um, our purpose never changes. Our focus in what God has called us to do should not change. But there are some uh, strategies from God that are actually placed with um, in us uh, for kingdom purpose to expand his kingdom. In fact, if you would... Uh, those of you that are part of Word of Faith family, you understand we have just made a prophetic shift in the sense that we have left a sealed building <laughs> uh, that we were having services in. And, you know, the Lord has declared to us that, you know, you are the church. In other words, don't go into your sealed buildings and a place of a comfort zone, but be the church. And I believe in this prophetic season, the position is a shift that is, it's a prophetic shift for position so that we can bring forth greater impact. And so wherever you are, whoever you are, God has put giftings and anointings in your life and it's up to you to be able to flow and operate in those at the level wherewith he has anointed you for purpose. And so our purpose doesn't change, our assignments don't change, but positioning can change. And God is bringing forth a positioning in the earth because such a time as this has demanded it. Um, we can be more effective when we're in the right position. Think about it this way. When Jonah told God that he would go to Nineveh, he started thinking about it. Wait a minute. If I do this, then I might have to face this or that. And I think in his own heart, he knew he made a vow to God, but he started thinking about his entire situation. And what all it did was bring forth an alarming factor in his spirit. And he ended up running from God instead of running to God, ultimately being turned around to have to start all over again. You know the story. But the fact is, is that when we start thinking about things, we get our thoughts prematurely in the midst of what God is prophetically shifting. God had a purpose for Jonah, and it was to be at the right place for the right time, for the right cause, for the right purpose. And it was a positional change. And if Jonah had truly embraced that positional change, he never would have went through the nightmarish experience of entering the belly of hell. He even said himself, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. So Jonah knew this well, and he realized that, wow, I, I not only <laughs> recognize what has happened, but I'm, I'm also um, grateful for the mercy of God to be able to turn things around. And we understand even in all of that, there were many factors that were involved and uh, Jonah still was disappointed in some ways at the end. But at the end of the day, God is faithful. And if we will allow ourselves to move with him, even when we don't know the end from the beginning, even when we don't see this side of the positioning, what's going to happen next, don't fear. Uh, don't be tormented. Don't look at things from a surface level. Don't look at a place as if somehow this isn't the same comfort zone that I'm used to. Understand and know that your life and your heart is, it belongs to God. He's ordained you, he's anointed you, and he's going to lead you. And in this season we're living now, position is everything. And so there's a prophetic shift that's coming in your life. Be prepared and be ready to seek opportunities as God gives them to be the church. Come on, somebody and to do what he's called you to do like no one else can do it. He's anointed you for such a time as this, as he's anointed us to complete a bold vision and a purpose. I see Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37, where God used him to speak to a dead situation to produce life. 
That's what God does with his prophetic. His prophetic is on the inside of you. He's going to cause you to open your mouth and he's going to fill it. And he's going to tell you to speak to those dry bones, <laughs> that the sinews and flesh will come upon them and that life, the breath of life will be breathed into them and they will live and not die. We need to speak to the nations of the earth. The spirit of the Lord <laughs> is upon this world to be able to bring forth righteousness, salvation, and joy. And I really believe without a doubt that he's choosing to use you to bring forth an addition to his kingdom with many lives and a harvest that is beyond measure. And so I encourage you today, don't worry about where you're at as a building is concerned. Be more focused about who you are, knowing whose you are, so you can be the church that he called you to be. And in your prophetic shifting, you will be at the right place at the right time for the right cause and the right purpose. <laughs> Praise God. I'm thankful that you tuned in for this prophetic uh, message. Um, I encourage you, uh, if you'd like to uh, contribute to Word of Faith uh, ministry, um, you can either go to PayPal through our website, which currently is being renovated. I apologize. Um, uh, we've had some issues with it and we're working on that. Uh, you can actually go to the cash app um, and uh, it's dollar sign word faith and you can make a donation there. Uh, but we um, look forward to coming forth to you every week, the same time, 11 a.m. Um, on Sunday mornings and sharing the word of the Lord with you. God richly bless you until next week. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.